Hey guys, I'm Oyen. I'm a filmmaker. This is my first time recording a audio commentary for YouTube video. So please bear with me. As a filmmaker on the ground, uh, it's really difficult to film on the water if you don't have uh, enough equipment. So you'll see on my shots coming along that most of my shots are shaky and not stable and as I'm getting uh, open water course I'm still trying to master my buoyancy in, in filming in scuba diving you have to get a, a license in order to learn more how, how to do filming underwater or taking photograph underwater yeah I'm just using only a GoPro Hero 4 and uh, just a stick, selfie stick like what I'm using right now Next time, I want to buy one of those trays underwater that you can hold uh, with both of your hands and you can have a bit of a stable shot when you swim through. I tried to use uh, Adobe Premiere Pro's uh, warp stabilizer on some of these shots just to see how, how the effect goes. Yeah, it looks kind of trippy and wobbly, but that's how it works in warp stabilizer. So it would be nice to learn uh, more how to do your shot properly underwater if you really want to do uh, underwater filmmaking or underwater photography. If I have the red filter on my GoPro, the colors will be much better. So this is our film diary on our uh, Paddy open water course. In this video, I, I've selected some clips on what we saw uh, on the coral reefs of uh, El Nido, Palawan, Philippines. The coral reefs in uh, El Nido it's really well preserved. They have different diving spots which are really nice. Most of the time the visibility is like 20 meters. And the coral scapes are really beautiful for me because yeah, it's my first time to do scuba diving but I think most of the divers also love uh, the diving spots here in uh, Palawan. I think this is the most famous uh, saltwater fish in the world because everybody knows this type of fish as Nemo. There are different species of clownfish and this is the true percula clownfish or Amphiprion percula. If you guys know what kind of uh, trigger fish this is, please let me know because I can't find it in Google. And that's your Titan trigger fish. Semi-circle angel fish Ooh. And some nice uh, table calls here I'm Doing a drone shot underwater <laughs> Not good Sea anemone right there eating starfish. I just put it in fast forward because it takes so slow for it to swallow it all. Make sure you don't touch the coral reefs because you know how slow they grow. Some classic silver shots. A dive master. Get away from me! Map pufferfish? Star pufferfish. These guys actually grow big. Stonefish. <laughs> now that's what you call an underwater nope. You don't want to get close to these lionfishes. They're beautiful though. There are also different species of these guys. That's one of its uh, defense mechanism, trying to make itself big and, and point those things on you. Blue spotted ribbon tail stingray. Yes. These guys are beautiful too. But they can kill you. Crocodile fish. This is a marble grouper. And uh, this guy is like one and a half meter long. Uh, these guys are huge too. Swim along. 
this guy is one of the biggest I saw, but they actually can grow much, much more bigger. Now this is the favorite uh, spot of uh, famous French explorer, oceanographer, and filmmaker uh, Jacques Cousteau. This diving spot is uh, located in South Miniloc of El Nido, where you can see school of fishes like uh, yellowtail snapper, uh, different variations of reef fishes, and some uh, puffer fish that we saw earlier. I'll keep quiet for a while so that you guys can enjoy the sound underwater. Beautiful diving spot, eh? Six, six, six. Some little mermaid shots. <laughs> I've seen uh, sea turtles many times in enclosures, but you don't call them wild because it's already captured by humans. So seeing a wild green sea turtle means it's really, really uh, heartwarming and I don't know, it, it really touches you how, how beautiful these, these creatures are. And this is a hawksbill turtle. Yeah, some, some fishes are like eating some uh, parasites on their faces <laughs> and then they're fine with it. I followed her for like I don't know how many meters, and I uh, I think I got the 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 divers worried that I went really far away. And if you can hear the the sound of the ticking of their uh, oxygen tanks, yep, they're calling me because I'm really far away now. And that's a critically endangered species right there. He's only one of its kind. Let's look at this. We call we call this a window fish. Yeah, there you go. Blah. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. I'll be making more uh, travel films in the future, so please subscribe to my channel. And uh, if you like my stuff, please like them, share it to your friends, share it to everybody, share it on different social media. Thank you guys for watching.